Hi, freepercussionlessons.com. Here today to wrap timpani mallets. What we're going to do is put a new covering on this mallet. That's a bamboo mallet that I made. Actually, this is homegrown bamboo. I've got a one inch um, wooden wagon wheel under there, and I have a thin undercoating of American felt. What I want to do is put a thicker piece of American felt as an outer layer. Give me more of a, a general sounding mallet. Um, but this is the way to make a cartwheel mallet, which is probably the easiest of, there's two basic ways. There's the cartwheel and there's the ball type. So we're going to start with the ball mallet, or the cartwheel, sorry. When you get American felt, it comes this thick. And, you and what you want to do is split it. So I got a split right in the middle, and I have two thin pieces. Then you have to measure. So look down here. Take your measuring tape. Use a flexible measuring tape like this. Hold it here. Measure around three and a half inches. Okay? Then you want to measure this way. So I put the measuring tape here. And I'm going to measure right to the center. Or not right to the center, I'm sorry, right to the edge of the, of the stick. And when I do that, I see that it's one and an eighth. So for one mallet, I need a, a, a three and a half inch around one and an eighth inch wide. Now it's important to remember that you need two mallets. So they should be cut from the same piece of felt. So work lengthwise, multiply your um, dimension by two. So three and a half times two is seven. So I'm gonna make a seven inch piece. Make sure you can see this. So I'm gonna measure seven inches. Where'd my pencil go? Oh, here it is. Measure seven inches. And then I'm going to measure one and an eighth inch wide. And then I'm going to cut and cut. And then I'm going to cut the seven inch piece in half. And voila, I have a three and a half inch piece, one and an eighth inch wide. And I've got two of them. The first thing we need to do is make a... the the um, the cartwheel mallet is going to go around the mallet like this. So we need to sew this. I want the fuzzy side on the outside this time. You have a choice. You have a hard side on one side of the felt and a fuzzy side. The hard side will create a more articulate sound. The fuzzy side will be a warmer sound, better for rolling. And that's what I want for these mallets. To make sure that I have the side that I want out, I'm going to start by because I want the fuzzy side out I'm going to fold the fuzzy side together then I'm going to take my needle and my thread I'm using fishing line I'm using black fishing line so you can see you could use dental floss you could use Dacron uh, kite string um, there's a number of other things that you can use but this works pretty well so I'm going to Start sewing and look, look at the way I'm sewing it. I've got the needle in through half and out through half. Just like that. I'm going to do a lock stitch. I've tied a knot there. Pull it, make a loop and tie it. And then I'm going to sew all the way up, like this. Hopefully the camera can see this, what I'm doing. And I get that all the way to the top, then I'm gonna lock it. I'm not gonna finish, well, here, let me finish this. Get all the way up. 
When you get to the top, I'm going to lock it again. Put a couple of stitches and loops through, tie a knot, and it should be good. And I'm going to trim the ends so they're out of my way. Okay, so in there I have my cartwheel that's going to fit around here, but I want the fuzzy side out, remember, so I'm going to turn it inside out. And that makes a flat, nice flat seam that's going to go around the mallet, like that. But now we have to sew around here and around the bottom. So, in order to do that, take my thread and my needle, start on the inside and work out. And it's the same thing. I'm going in through just below the edge, and I want to go out through the middle. So I don't want to go all the way through like that. I want to go through the middle like this. And I'm going to go all the way around like that. Then I'm going to, once I go all the way around, I'm just going to do a shortcut here. I want to go all the way around on the other side. Do the exact same thing all the way around. Okay, so I just did a few stitches to show you what I'm doing both the top and the bottom. I've already done that with this one. So this one's complete. I have my seam and I've stitched all the way around the top and the bottom. Fit this over the mallet head like that. Now make sure the camera follows this. I'm going to pull this tight around the bottom first. Make a simple knot, tie it tight, push it down so the felt's nice and firm, and lock it with another knot. And on the top, I want to pull that. I'm going to pull it firmly around the, the mallet Where's my end? There it is. I pull it firmly around, and I like the look of having just a little bit of a hole like that at the top of my mallet. So I'm going to tie a knot, one knot, keep it tight, and another knot. There. That's how you do it. Now, I'm almost done here. I've got these loose threads. What I like to do is put them through the needle. Oh, if I can do that. Let me see if I can do this quick. Put it through the needle. I'm going to have to show this on another video because this is taking too long. But basically what you do is you thread it through the needle and put the needle underneath the stitching. And when you pull the needle out, you're going to hide the string. I'll go and I'll do more of that in another video. So look up here. So there's your almost complete cartwheel mallet. Very simple to make. This is freepercussionlessons.com. We'll see you later.